Hello, this is The Briefing with me, Sally Bundock. The top stories. <laughs> Calls for calm in Zimbabwe. There's still no announcement of a winner in the presidential election. The US sanctions two government ministers in Turkey over the imprisonment of an American pastor on terrorism charges. 93 large wildfires are currently burning across the United States. The governor of California says the culprit is climate change. Full speed ahead, Tesla surprises markets with record revenues and a gung-ho production forecast, paving the way for profits in the next quarter. Also in business briefing, to raise or not to raise, that is the question on the minds of those at the Bank of England. Most predict the cost of borrowing will go up today in the UK for the second time in a decade. A very warm welcome to the programme. In this hour, we will brief you on all you need to know in global news, in business and in sport. Also in the programme, a report from Ofcom says more than two thirds of smartphone users confess they could not live without it and less of us are using them to make voice calls. So what do you use yours for and do you suffer from smartphone separation anxiety? Do get in touch, just use the hashtag BBC The Briefing. So let's get started and we begin with the international calls for calm in Zimbabwe after soldiers opened fire to disperse opposition supporters alleging fraud in Monday's elections. Three people were killed at protests in the capital Harare after the Electoral Commission said the governing ZANU-PF had attained a two-thirds...